Welcome back to the Cardinal Report. This week's correspondent is freshman Matt Boguslawski, who will take us inside the Cardinal Corner. Hi everybody, I'm Matt Boguslawski. I play for North Central's men's tennis team. And I'm just going to introduce you to a couple guys on the team. Right here we got uh, Gabe Ewell, Jr. on the men's tennis team. Kind of give me a brief, uh, kind of sum up what happened today exactly. Well, I started off and I missed my first shot. And then the second shot I missed. And then I wound up missing a lot more shots between that one and the last one I missed. <laughs> and in singles I wound up winning zero games. But it was, it was fun and the, the kid was good, so. And there's Gabe Ewell, also known as a general. Here we have Sam Sweeney. Uh, why don't you give us just a little brief like intro on how you just came to being on the tennis team over here. I was at University of Illinois. Um, just was really feeling the urge to play tennis again after I had come back from uh, MSU. And I, uh, I took a semester off and kind of just was conditioning and stuff and just really wanted to start playing again. So I wanted to be a part of the team. All right, what's going through your head right now winning all your, match all your conference matches going into the tournament? Um, I mean, it's, uh, it's a good feeling. I mean, hopefully, hopefully I can continue it into the conference tournament or whatnot. And, uh, you know, mainly I hope we can, you know, surprise some teams this weekend and hopefully do well. And, you know, I'm feeling pretty confident. Here we got Josh Clay, freshman on the, on the men's tennis team. Uh, how do you think your uh, style of play comes in a, just effect when you're playing the people you're playing? <laughs> Well, um, I'm more of a slow player um, that grinds out the, most of the points, so um, I think it, uh, it it's most effective against uh, players that just kind of like to blast the ball a little more and get the points done quickly. And there was the exciting tale of Josh the Mosquito Clay. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, meeting the team, and uh, I want you all come out to uh, the, matching, uh, the conference match in Kenosha to watch the SmackDown. We welcome on North Central College Sports Information Director Clark Tuscher for this brief timeout. Clark, the baseball team on Tuesday, they, just, they dropped a, a heartbreaker, 1-0 to Carthage and 8-6 to Carthage, a part of a doubleheader. Yeah, they were supposed to play those this weekend and uh, ended up getting pushed because of the weather. Uh, first game, you know, Mike Kloss is the ace of the pitching staff. He throws nine shutout innings. Um, unfortunately, they weren't able to get a run across during regulation and 10th inning, the, you know, the relief pitchers, they walked the first two batters and all Carthage had to do was get a single to win it. Uh, they lost the second game eight to six. Um, had a bit of a pitching meltdown in the fourth inning where Carthage scored all eight runs. Uh, if that doesn't happen, that's a very different ball game. Absolutely. Now the baseball team, they got five CCIW games remaining. One with Carthage, that game's gonna be played today. And then we got um, three with North Park and then one makeup with Milliken. And right now, the team currently sits in fifth place in the CCIW, a 6-10-1 record. In fourth place is Augustan, a 9-8 record. Yeah, given the way the standings look right now, they basically have to sweep all those games to make it into the conference tournament. So it's going to, it's going to take some, some inspired play to get into the postseason for that group. Absolutely. Now, the softball team, they're back in the CCIWs, just like last year. They finished second in the league, and they'll take on the third-place team. Uh, this year, I believe it is... Augustana that they're playing in the semifinals. But last year, the Cardinals, they won the tournament. This year, they're in a very similar situation. Yeah, it's pretty much the same draw as they had last year. Uh, so they're going to go in. Um, they might have had a little more depth in their, in their pitching rotation than they had this year. Uh, so we're going to have to see how, how Coach Klawiak and his staff are going to work that uh, to get the matchups that they want. Uh, but it certainly sets up a lot like last year's tournament did. And you were talking about the, uh, well, one of the number one pitchers, the Holly Roadruck. She injured a finger in the Chicago University of Chicago game? Yeah, they, they wrapped up the regular season against the University of Chicago on Monday and swept them. In the first game, they were trailing and rallied in the fifth inning to come back. She scored the, uh, the go-ahead run, which turned out to be the winning run, uh, on, a, on a kind of a bang-bang play at home plate and uh, dinged up her pitching hand a little bit. So, uh, so still waiting to see uh, what kind of severity there is on that injury and, and how much she's going to be able to pitch this weekend. Clark, the track and field teams, they just got back from the 100th annual Drake Relays. This is, a, this is kind of a big meet. Yeah, the Drake Relays, they call those meets relay carnivals, and it's a very accurate description of those meets because there's just a thousand different things going on, huge crowds, great competition in every single event. It's a very different environment from what they normally compete in uh, here closer to home. Uh, so while the, some of the finishes in the events might not have been what we're accustomed to seeing out of the North Central teams, uh, certainly were 
excellent showings given the conditions they were competing in. Yeah, the 1600 meter relay team, the men's, they finished seventh overall. That was the best finish of any other North Central College uh, event. And that was in a field of in excess of 20 teams, so uh, which are coming from all different parts of the country. Most of them are going to be represented at the national championships at some level, whether it's Division Two, Division Three, Division One, whatever. So uh, it was certainly against a stout field of competition. And Rachel Seacrest, she finished 13th, I believe, in the pole vault. She uh, vaulted 12 feet, one and a half inches. That's still over six inches under her personal best this year. Uh, yeah, and when you go to a meets in the Midwest like that, it tend to have issues with the wind swirling around a little bit. It can be a tough environment for a pole vaulter. Um, and you, know, you don't really look at the, the placing there because she's competing against primarily Division I competition. There weren't very many non-Division I vaulters in that, in that particular field. If, if Rachel would have cleared her, and I believe it was 12-8 that she got in the indoor championships this year, if she would have cleared 12-8, where does that put her in the field? Uh, in Division Three, I mean, I think she's third right now um, with her current mark of 12-6, um, so that might have put her at the top of, of the list right there. But going into those, those meets, I mean, it really, as long as you're, you know, close to that, that top group there, you're always going to be in contention for a national championship. Clark, real quick, the men's tennis team, they finished up the CCIW championships uh, at the Hunt in Huntley, Illinois at the Whisper Creek Golf Club. That starts this Friday. Yeah, the, the, the golf championships uh, this weekend. Um, it's a 72-hole tournament, and they played the first 36 holes a couple of weekends ago uh, at a different course. So uh, they, they wound up posting their best 36-hole score ever in the tournament. Uh, but unfortunately, just about every other school did too, so they're sitting in fifth place right now. Uh, but if they can get in the top half of the, of the bracket in the conference, that'll be the first time they've done that in about 10 years. So yeah. that'll be a, a pretty nice accomplishment for them. In Illinois, Wesleyan, they're way out in front in first place. Clark, thanks again for all your help. And tune in next week as we take a look at the baseball team's last conference doubleheader of the season versus North Park. NCTV 17 is always keeping you connected with your area sports scene. I'm Jeff Mahoney. See you next time on your community television leader, Channel 17. Go Cardinals.